There's this, no, there, this there blue car, this blue car, what do you mean? It's, it goes back in actual fact to Eric's. Oh, that's yeah, right. So yeah, this sits back. back. <laughs> but, but just look at that pigeon's head there. What a beautiful head he's got. And look at his formation. He's a lovely pigeon. And look at those things. This pigeon, I think he'll be about nine now. He's flown poor three or four times. Twice or so he's been second. And that's 550 miles. Now you get older, that's a long time since you handled a good pigeon, is, Ron. Is, uh, since you've been out of it, you had one or two ruffles at the time when you were in pigeons. But get hold of him and look at him. Lovely pigeon. Have they ran with a blue chipper before? No, don't, no. Don't let, These me, high -fine don't let, mis don't let Mr. Cannon handle that one because <laughs> you'll not be able to sleep tonight thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't understand, hasn't got anything. He's nine years old. He was late. How old is he? I can't say. Well, I'm not saying that. I think he's 84. 84. 84, yes. Well, that's 12 years old then. Yeah. But have we got this right? It's not what I've got. No, I can't see that. No, 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 no. So you've got a white face. Yes, it is. It is. No, 94. You blooming twister. Not 94. Not even this. See how it is. Bloody twister. Now, if you have a problem, it's all bloody similar. That pigeon don't look 12 years old. I thought, well, I thought. But that one is. That one is, yeah. Is this the cockroach on the video? That's the first one. That is. That's the first one. That's the first one. How old is Yari? Well, he looks about the same age as you do. <laughs> yeah, he's 86 pigeon. 86 pigeon, that's yeah. it, yes. Oh, three or four times poor than his face. That's what I'm saying, for a non sighted fancier, but then, pigeons, the type of pigeons are fantastic. Well, yeah. now, 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 Eric, what, 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 what's, what, what, what's the head of that pigeon? Well, like? I like it, yeah, but as Listen, Ron said, he uh, didn't accurately describe no, it. No, but this is the hen, and I, yeah. I think she's the most suitable pigeon for it. It's your third, your third day winner. And that, yeah, and that, yeah, first of all, and that is a half-bred cannon. She's that hen is a half-bred cannon. Have the same, mate. He's yeah, lovely. Lovely hen. I think I should have my ass back. I tell you what, I bring two out and to make him cry. Nice yeah. Lovely. Yeah. For a non-sighted fancier, a fantastic type of pigeon. She's fabulous. 33. Can you remember her breathing? Yeah, I think it's all for 108 90. Um, 10890. Uh, and one treble has, has it won anything for you? I don't race him now, I keep him because he's uh, he was off that first section winner who I had to kill. Came back uh, the year after, still got in the result, but he was so badly injured I had to kill him. You don't so, stick me, you bloody rubbish, in the same way that you do Mr. Bloody Dodge, do you? Hey? <laughs> eh? And I took the uh, the mother of that. He's the arts in that chin, is he? <laughs> the mother of pitch. This is May nineteen ninety six. Summertime, well, the weather's like November out there. Absolutely diabolical. Cold northeast winds, rain is terrible. Now, right, the next sequence you're going to see is my day out at Jed Jackson's at Worthing. Here we are at Worthing. Where are the birds today, then, Jed? <laughs> That's a very good question, Keith. I was just about to ask you, in view of all your experience, what the hell do you think's happened to them? They've been flying now for two and three quarter hours for. 112 miles. Yeah, where are they? Well, they're at Warwick. They're coming down on, as you can appreciate, a northeasterly wind. That's, yep. I think. Fancy they've got it with some rain somewhere. Yeah. This is May, it's not November. <laughs> Probably got <laughs> iced out. <down. laughs> yes. Still? Their engines have got iced It is, it is not pigeon racing weather, Keith. You know, you cannot get pigeons fit without sunshine. No. Well, we've not had any this year. You can feed them all your life and all the fancy grains and tidbits, but there's nothing like sunshine. Well, we'll, we'll be clocking in a minute anyway. Yeah, we hope to. <laughs> <laughs> First bird home. Ah, Keith, as the first pigeon, it's been flying now approximately 
two hours and three quarters to fly 112 miles. Now that's bloody incredible on a day like today. But one must consider that the weather is anything but conducive to pigeon racing. So look at it out there, dull, grey and very cold. It's, yeah, it's like got Christmas day, isn't it? In the middle of winter. This is Jed's first pigeon home. Tell you what, Jed, he's soaking wet, mate. Yes, I noticed when I've timed him, Keith, that he was damp. They've been through, obviously gone through rain. I don't know yet, love, see. How many you got home now, Jed? <laughs> well, I would think there might be about six short now. But when you look at this weather, can you expect anything else like this? You cannot get pigeons fit without sunshine. Most That's the channel today. The SMT combine I've held over at Wrens today. Bloody wind's cold. It's not November then, mate.